Denver, helping teens express themselves through art. And Mackenzie O'Keefe is live in Denver with this very creative and colorful story. Good morning to you, Mackenzie. Good morning, Kelly. Yeah, this program is continuing to grow and it's really gaining more attention and now even support from different parts of our community. They say that last year, 1,000 teens came into this art studio, used this space, materials, professional help as a place to learn and grow. It's just a way of like self-expression that I don't think I've found in any other form. Isabella Ocaña is talking about her artwork, jewelry and wearable art that allows her to set her creative mind free. Being able to like physically manipulate the medium is something that I just really enjoy doing. She's been going to the teen art night since she was in sixth grade. It's a program that provides open studios for teenagers to work with professional artists and to learn more about expression through their hands, paintbrushes, and pencils. I'm actually able to sit down and work on it for however many hours and I have access to materials I wouldn't otherwise have. The studio recently received a grant that allows them to lower the drop-in rate for teens with the hope that more students will be able to utilize this resource, becoming a place for art, but also a place where young minds can gather as one. This is their space. They can do what they want. They can talk about things that are important to them. They can bring in their music and really make it their time. Now, Isabella's artwork was just unbelievable to see. Right now, it costs a teen $10 to drop in on Friday nights to take use in this open studio concept. They say if this is too much money for some teens, they are offering scholarships right now while they hopefully get more funding in the future. We're live here in Denver. Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado first. That's pretty cool, Mackenzie. Thank you.